What's up, guys? Abram has his game today. Uncle Symphony, thank you for buckling the baby in. Uh, Are you ready to win? My baby! My baby! Yes. My baby! Oh, yeah. Here, here you go. Look at how weird this go. is. Actually, Does anybody know Abram's number besides Abram? Like 22, 15, 17. He's feeling 22. Well, that's 23. That's... Last time I was 23, Michael Jordan. Oh! If you get the ball, sling it like this. Put your elbows out. Get people off of you. Dribble it and shoot it, okay? okay. Shoot the ball. If you're at a three point line, go for it. Be I mean, I aggressive. Be oh, yeah. aggressive. Hi, Bella. You he was done yet, babe? Like, I'm ball. sorry about it, guys. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I have to say something. I love my dad. Jojo, I like your pigtails. Thank you. Sweet girl. Hey, stop looking at me like, like that. Such a <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Oh my God! Who did that? Not me. I'll I did. I just stepped on her shoe. I'm sorry. Oh baby. Oh my gosh! She could have ripped her hair. Okay, so why would you do that? Oh, poor baby. Poor baby. <laughs> oh, you did good catching her. Yeah, you really did, cutie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Let me see you. Shoes. <laughs> oh. I hate these shoes. This is why I don't wear these shoes. <laughs> you wear them everywhere. Come on, you're kind of late. Let's, you gotta that go. shook poor me baby. so bad. I'm shaking so I know, much me too. right now. That made me feel really nauseous. Oh, that was, that was like crazy. <laughs> Pick up the baby. Okay, check her head. She wants mama. Tiffany, what happened? Look like you caught yourself and then you fell a second time. I think my shoe fell off. Oh, so you caught yourself and then you tripped over your shoe? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself anywhere? Sorry. Are you okay, Jesse? I'm right sorry, on here, boom boom. It's like right in here. Oh, it's already gone way down. It was like right here. Oh, that's great. Get open, bud. Get open. Get it, bud. Get it. Oh. Look at Abram's coach, you guys. She really just gets so into the game. She's in the green sweater over there. Hands up. Come on, boy, jump! Come on, let's go! Let's go, Phantoms! Let's go! The opposing team won, guys. Abram to get the score. But it's okay. You know, we still have next weekend, which we won't be here. We'll be at the cabin, but we still have next weekend to win a game. I almost fell again. Samuel Paul, <laughs> How'd you do everybody it? watch your step. How'd you do in there, bud? Good. Yeah? Yeah. At least you got the ball one time, right? That was cool. Two times. Was it cool holding that ball? Yeah, two times though. Good job, bud. I got it. You did a good job, buddy. Two times. I haven't seen you really. I got it two times. I know you did. You did great, buddy. I'm proud of you. Yeah, you played some really good defense, too. Yeah, really good defense. Look what you really did on Stanley. You ripped my new sticker and the bottom <laughs> of it. I did that or you yeah, did? Yeah, you did that. You're the one who fell. You're the one that stitched on my shoes that are already too big for me. But it was an accident. <laughs> and now is the dreaded time of the day where I've got to figure out what I'm going to feed everybody for lunch. But first, guys, I started something new. You want to see what it is? So the first step of what I'm about to do is to preheat my oven to 450. And I've got to warm up my Dutch oven for an entire hour. See my Dutch oven? It's already hanging out in there. Here's a clue right there. I have... My dough has been proofing since we've been since we left for Abram's game. I'll show you guys. Did you make them, babe? Sourdough bread! Woo! So here's one of them. It's been proofing in the fridge for four hours. I also proofed it overnight. I've never done that before. We cover it up while that oven preheats. We'll sit here and take a little nappy nap. All right, bro. You just sit there and you I take your little nappy nap, and I'll get lunch ready. No, not like a full tablecloth, I'm a runner. Why do you ask for a tablecloth? Because there's a really cool drain. <laughs> Try to pull the tablecloth off without knocking down any cups. Ooh, that'd be hard. Yeah, but it like can't really be right this way. material because there's like more friction on it. See, it's more grippy. 
Okay, let me get lunch ready. I gotta focus, everybody. You are giving yourself those cards. I went with a little bit of everything. Little bit of this, little bit of that, little bit of here, little bit of there. Juliet, hey guys. she finally has her food that she's whining about all day. Somebody's next. That's my food. And we're then playing Juliet Taco Cat play Goat Cheese Pizza. We're playing Taco Cat Goat Cheese Stop. Pizza. And I'm winning, and yeah. That's mom in the background being weird. Hey, no, you should have seen what she was doing. So loaf number one is out of the oven. I'm about to put loaf number two in and I've been kind of like playing around with my scoring. Here's what it looks like on the top. I'm really bummed because this loaf right here did not plump up the way that all of my other loaves have plumped up. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. I've heard that these some women do this. They kind of, you just go a little bit this way, a little bit that way, a little bit this way, a little bit that way. You kind of go in this movement, you pull it towards you, you go that way, twist, pull. This is why watching a gajillion tutorials pays off. Still not as plump as I've seen them before, but it's not bad. I mean, I, I've definitely, I think one of my one of my first ones was like that, so that's good. Oh, I'm so thankful. Oh my gosh, I'm so thankful because that would have really stressed me out. Okay, so let's let's get the Dutch oven out and get it baking. So one of the tricks with this, this recipe is that you cook it in the Dutch oven. Cook it on parchment paper down in it. So you get ice cubes and you put them under the parchment paper. It's supposed to make the outside crust a little easier to cut into. So like I'm taking this, lifting it up, and I'm putting it under. First time goes in the oven 25 to 30 minutes. Then you bake it for 10 to 15 minutes longer without the lid on it. This one right here is cooling. It looks so cool. This is the first time that I've actually got this pattern and it's because I use this type of basket. I'm so excited about my bread. Look at it over there. It just looks so pretty sitting there. It's like there's all this mess and all these dishes and then ah, bon voyage, me sorry, oui, 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 ma la la, French. All right, it's time to pull my second loaf out of the oven. Oh, it burned a little bit. Did it? I don't love that. Oh, wow, it still looks really good though. Wow, looks good though. The outside didn't look as good, but the inside of this one looks even better. Wow, 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 wow. All right, silly goose. Enough of the bunny ears. Bunny ears. Okay, try it. Stay right here. Go ahead. Truly one of the most satisfying things I've ever done. Babe, did you show the viewers the 100 roses I got you? No, I didn't show them yet. 100 roses, long stem roses, guys. That's what it looks like. Why are these drooping? Let me just turn them like this, I guess. What the heck? Yes, uh... Some of them are dying. I guess 100 roses can't share a single boss. Which is how it is. Oh, wow. Where are they dying? Does that mean, what does this mean, guys? They're just like flopping. Right to Mundo. Right to Mundo, huh? Mm -hmm. I like your style. Thanks, like bro. The way you talk. You got a cool, cool way of talking. You know me. Where'd you pick that out from? <laughs> Probably you. <laughs> yeah, I guess you would learn from the best. Mm -hmm. We're getting ready to go to the cabin. Abram and I are headed out early tomorrow. Did they see it on you yet? No, you're on the camera. I'm just curious, do you guys think it's a girl's jacket? I'm just curious. Do you think I actually bought a woman's jacket? <laughs> you and Michael Scott. I'm just attracted to the bright colors. Go put your pants on, let's see. There's black. No, what do you guys think? Is they this have a girl's the jacket? orange stripe in it. Nah. I don't want to do all that. Hmm. I don't want to be around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, 
Why doesn't Costco yeah. have organic flour? All right, so this is the stuff I'm bringing tomorrow. Got a new vacuum, bringing in some heat. Got a couple new heaters, got this heater right here. I'm gonna heat up the bedrooms. 120 degrees for three hours each bedroom as a measure of sorts for bed bugs. When you have an Airbnb for this long, you're bound to get bed bugs with all the traffic and different people coming in. And so I'm gonna do some, can't think of a word, preliminary action. I'm gonna be shampooing the floors while I'm there. I'll probably resurf the dining room table, the epoxy table I have, starting to fog a little. I'm gonna do some yard work, some tree trimming. Probably gonna clean up the koi pond and one other big thing I'm gonna do that's gonna make the biggest difference and the most noticeable difference is I'm gonna be painting the apron of the cabin. I'm gonna paint the front door green as well to match. I will show you guys this cool heater real quick. Have you guys seen one of these? I'm gonna leave a link to it. Go check it out. Use my link, please. It's an affiliate link, obviously. Push this button and you light. That's pretty cool, right guys? Look at this. 360 heat, I can go anywhere I want. What's nice about these things is bringing them outside for like a party and you can gather around them and Get nice and toasty. Check out my affiliate link, okay guys? It'll be over here or something. Anyway, it's gonna be a good trip. I'm gonna get a lot of work done, I hope. We're gonna be vlogging it all, so. Don't forget to come back, and don't forget, he loves you, and remember to love each other. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain.